Yo, what is up guys? I am back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install unsupported apps on older versions of iOS. Let's get right into it. So guys, before I actually show you what we need to do to get this to work, I just need to show you that if I tried to download an app that wasn't supported on this phone, this is what it would do. Unable to purchase, you wouldn't be able to get it. So what you actually need to do is install Cydia Tweak, which is a jailbreak tweak, so your device needs to be jailbroken. For me, I'm going to be using Phoenix, the Phoenix jailbreak. And this will work on anything from iOS 3 to the newest iOS. It'll work on everything. So go ahead and go into Cydia. So guys, once you're in Cydia, go ahead and go over to Sources. Click Edit, and then Add. And then type in the repo cydia.invoxyplaygames.uk. So guys, confirm that you have this repo, and then go ahead and click Add Source. The source will start downloading, and then just go ahead and click Return to Cydia. Then this repo right here, IPG Cydia repo, just go ahead and click that. Click All Packages, and then click this one right here, Checkmate Store. This is what we want to download. Go ahead and click Modify, and Install. Click Confirm, and it will now download this tweak. So guys, once that's done downloading, go ahead and click Restart Springboard. So guys, once your device turns back on, go ahead and open it up. I get rid of these, just so that your device is completely refreshed. Go ahead and find the app that you want to get. And it has to have supported that version before in the past. So YouTube obviously did support iOS 9 in the past. So this will just allow access to it. So if I click download now with this tweak installed, I can download an older version. And now I can go ahead and download YouTube. You guys can see that YouTube has just finished installing. And if I go ahead and go into the app, it should work just fine. Going into the app should be just fine. So basically this should work on every app that has supported iOS 9 or whatever version you are on with your current device in the past. So if you're on iOS 11 and you're using this, as long as the device has supported iOS 11, if you're on iOS 10 and you're using this, same, same thing applies. So guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Please hit that subscribe button if I helped you out. It would help me out a ton if you subscribed. And also sharing would go a long way towards my goal of hitting 3,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for watching my video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.